Let's try taking the dot product of a couple vectors. So our first vector, we're going to take u dot v, where u and v are two-dimensional vectors. We have 3, negative 8, and we have 5, comma 7. So these are just in the xy plane. They only have an ith component and a jth component. So we remember our formula to take a dot product, to take u dot v. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply the ith component or the first components together and multiply the jth components together and then we're going to add those results and then that'll be our dot product. So I'll write this out just mostly for your notes. Um, you'd have 3 times 5 and you'd have negative 8 times 7. And we're going to take those two products and then add the results together. So that would be 15 minus 56, which would be negative 41, negative 41. So that would be the dot product of u and v. Now, a very good question you might have is, well, Devin, what's negative 41? What does that mean exactly? Um, what we talked about in an earlier video, and we haven't gone into a whole lot of detail yet. More detail is, is coming up in some of the uh, later videos, but what we know, at least right now, is this means that these vectors are not orthogonal. These guys do not meet at a right angle. Um, the reason being is the dot product is not zero. Now, it turns out there's an alternate definition for the dot product to where you can actually use this number to actually figure out what the angle is between those two vectors. We know it's not 90, but we can figure out what it is using that dot product, but we're not gonna do that in this video. All right, let's do the, uh, the next two vectors here. These are three-dimensional vectors. Uh, we have vector w and vector s. Vector w is 2, negative 1, 7, and s is 3, comma 6, comma 0. So we're going to take their dot product the exact same way. Nothing's different. We're going to take the ith components and multiply them, 2 times 3. We'll take um, negative 1 times positive 6, and we'll take 7 times 0. And we'll take those products and add the results together. We have 6 minus 6 plus 7 times 0 is 0. So that gives us 0. So these guys' dot products are 0. Now what does that mean? Well, since the dot product was equal to 0, those two vectors, however they're oriented in three-dimensional space, they meet at a right angle. These two guys are orthogonal. Um, and I know that, again, because the dot product is 0.